What is up, everybody? This is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and tonight is a very special bind uh, video for me. And now, I did not bind these myself. I actually purchased these from somebody off a of Facebook group who had purchased these from somebody else a long time ago. Uh, but the dust jackets themselves are a 100% Hardcover Comic original. Or, well, I should say a Mike original. I kind of came to him and I said, hey, I'm getting this three-volume Hitman bind in. You want to do the covers? And he ran with it. I was like, I want connecting covers, you know, the DC Bullet logo, everything. And he ran with it. And I am absolutely in love with this design. Uh, now, because I did not bind these myself, it does not have the JLA issues or the one millionth issue. It's just the one through 61 along with the annuals. And that is it. Uh, but they are bound... Um, through, I believe, Herring and Robinson due to the fact that uh, there's not the sticker that Haushin does in the back and the fact that these are oversewn. Not that Haushin doesn't do oversewn, it's just, but it's a lot more common for them to do the defab. So these ones actually are oversewn, which is a Herring and Robinson preferred method um, and just sort of the not having the sticker and things like that. I think these were done by Herring and Robinson, which if that's the case, I am really excited about because these are solid quality books and I actually have some binds in there. Uh, with those guys as we speak. So, uh, here we are though. Hardcover comic original, Mike original, uh, Hitman three volume buying custom dust jacket set that I absolutely love. Love, 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 love these dust jackets. So, let me go ahead and take away these two real quick. All right, so you have the first volume here. Um, so with this one, uh, he likes Mike. Make sure that any of the images and things that he uses are always going to be applicable to what is inside the volume, which I always appreciate. It's not going to be random issues that he finds. He puts a lot of thought into what he does. Uh, so you have this volume or, on the, or sorry, this picture on the back, which I absolutely love. It's an image. It's an iconic Hitman image, to be honest. I but want to say it was from Hitman number one, but not only that, it's also printed on all the trade paperbacks and things like that. So when he announced that. Uh, or showed me, I should say, that this is the the picture that he chose. I was very excited because I was like, oh, I was really hoping you would use that. And he goes, should I use it on the front instead? And I said, no, 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 I'll leave it on the back. It's been done too many times otherwise. Uh, and then on the flaps here, we've got a Night Fist and then a picture of just Tommy smoking. Um, so, don't mind my Valiant uh, bookmark there. I'm kind of going back through and rereading these, and I can tell you right now, I am having the time of my life reading this. It is so much fun. It is so incredibly funny. Um, especially any scene with, like, six-pack. It's great. So, here's what they looked like when I got them in the mail, before we did any sort of dust jacket designs. It's just very plain green buckram cloth with just simple labeling. Nothing on the back, no headbands or tailbands, no ribbon bookmark, no black end papers, nothing like that. Just very, uh, just very simple. But as you can see here, this is going to be bound from the single issues. Let me see if I can find a good page where I can show you guys the sewn binding. So as you can kind of see in there, they did do an oversewn binding. Uh, but it's great. The book is actually going to last a little bit longer due to the sewn binding rather than the glue. Which honestly, the defab though, there's absolutely nothing wrong with. I've had a lot of uh, defab books and they're still holding up great to this day. Uh, but it does have a little bit of an eye hole there, which is really nice. And it lays nice and flat. Uh, just really from the minute you open it, um, it just really lays just nice. You don't have any issues or anything with it. Um, one of the other cool things, too, about um, single issues is being able to keep all those ads in there and just kind of going back and looking through and be like, oh, I remember that when I was younger. Or I remember this or that. It's kind of like going through a time zone. Time zone? What the hell am I saying? Uh, like a time loop and kind of seeing all those things. It's pretty neat. All right, let me grab uh, volume two here. All right, so we have volume two, Club and a Baby Seal. You guys have already seen the spine. There's the back image. Tommy and Nat getting themselves into some trouble there. And then we open it up. 
And I love, love, love these flaps. Let me just do this so you guys can kind of get like the full effect. So there you go. This is the connecting flap that he did for this book, uh, which was really cool. Um, same thing, the design on it is it's the green buckram cloth. It looks identical to volume one. There's nothing really special about it. Again, over sewn binding. There was a lot of like Sam Goody ads back then I've noticed. Like, oh, I'm reading this. Like every other ad was like a Sam Goody ad. Um, but yeah, so there's anarchy so there's that it has all of like the letters pages and things like that which is a lot of fun to read as well and then let me grab volume three here which the flaps in volume three might actually be my favorite and you guys will see why here in a sec uh so here we have the cover of tommy blowing up a t-rex once again the spine and then the cover at closing time uh, the final issue of Hitman. But you open up the flaps on this one, and you have... Oh, I love this so much. You have none other than Six Pack, who is one of the greatest characters ever in this book. Uh, Six Pack is fantastic. Uh, he's, uh, he's a good comedic relief... And I enjoy him immensely, especially in the Section 8 books, which they did later on and, and things like that. But So there you have it, a three-volume Hitman bind uh, that I purchased from someone else, so it wasn't in my personal bind, or else I would have added more of the books into it. However, Mike did an amazing job on these dust jackets, and that is really the most important thing that I wanted to show you guys was the work that went into those. So thank you guys very much for... Uh, watching this tonight and also do not forget we actually have a video out right now that you can go watch because we're going to be doing a giveaway a $50 IST or a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway um, once we hit 4,500 subscribers we are almost there so please go like and tell your friends um, and then stay tuned and watch that video and follow along with what you need to do in that video and uh, once we have that 4,500, we'll do the drawing. And hopefully we'll be able to do a lot more giveaways and things like that in the future. Uh, so yeah, so stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. we got a lot of big things planned for 2020. So until then, the power is yours.